Colts Nation back again trying to bide the time until things start picking up here in the world of football, right? And can you believe that I am somehow finding another way to talk about Anthony Richardson? You know, I'm trying to find the balance here between not overdoing it with talking about Anthony Richardson, but then also giving the people what they want to hear. And I am a Colts fan through and through, right? Obviously, we all love the quarterback, but I'm a fan of the team, so I do try to keep it somewhat diverse over here if I can, but also the numbers do not lie. The people want to see more Anthony Richardson content, and I'm happy to provide it to you if you don't think I'm being repetitive, which ultimately is my worry. So something I've actually yet to talk about on this channel is the relationship between Anthony Richardson and Garner Minshew. With all the hype around Anthony, it's easy to kind of just breeze over the importance of Garner and all of this, right? I mean, when we signed Garner Minshew, we were very, very excited about his presence. I know not just me, a lot of people were excited about Garner, right? I mean, I was joking around about him being QB1, but then more seriously mentioning how having him on the roster, if things didn't go our way in this draft, maybe would have allowed us to kick the can on quarterback until next year, right? That was like the trade back scenario. All of a sudden, you have some more picks next year. And uh, right, how things have changed now. Now, his presence is going to be absolutely pivotal to both the Colts as a whole and Anthony Richardson's development. So I kind of wanted to take some time today to just get into that. And uh, I don't know, I guess just kind of get into my thoughts on it, right? There's no real objective with that episode. I'm just kind of uh, shooting the SHIT today, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. But before we do real quickly, let me just introduce myself. Those of you who have been here before know I do this. Those of you who haven't, this is what I do. My name is Justin. This is the Ryan the Bench Colts cast. You're looking at me in my bedroom or you're just listening to me. That sound is so weird. Point B, right, is anyone that watches this video, the one thing I ask is that if you're enjoying it, just shoot it a like. Bloop, takes two seconds. That's it. Helps me get out to as many Colts fans as possible. Let's YouTube know what you want in front of your face as well. And then, of course, if you want to be around for the journey, I'm going to be making content about the Colts for a very, 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 very long time. I'm already picking up the pace now, and honestly, I don't make any promises. But as we get into the season, really into the season, it might pick up just a little bit more. But again, just enjoy the episode, most importantly, right? So let's get back into it now that I've gone through all of the, you know, asking you to do this, asking you to do that, right? Let's talk about what you're here for. So Garner Minshew, man, you got to respect how he's taken on this role with such grace, right? I mean, Garner is being labeled as a a veteran, right? But let's not forget that he was drafted in 2019. And just to refresh your memory, that's the draft class with Kyler Murray and Daniel Jones and Josh Allen, right? Um, You know, I feel like we view them as younger quarterbacks. We're not labeling those guys as veterans, maybe to some degree, sure. But there's levels to that type of thing, right? And also, let's not pretend that Garner Minshew is just some dude, right? I mean, there is a reason that we all know Garner Minshew's name, right? This is a guy that was drafted in the sixth round by Jacksonville and then just like exploded onto the scene out of nowhere, right? He had the the mustache, the headband, the whole bit. Marketable guy, right? And not for anything. Between the Minshew mania noise, right? All of the hype and really his actual on-the-field performance, he had and still has People that think he is that guy. I mean, I certainly like him. I'm not here to say he's like franchise savior or anything like that, but I like Garner Minshew quite a bit. And he certainly, even if it was short lived, was getting like face of the franchise type treatment from Jacksonville, at least by their fan base, right? I mean, there was a real moment. Let's not, right? Am I the only, am I exaggerating this? Someone, someone validate me in the comments. Minshew Mania was like a very, very real thing. And make no mistake, Due to that, Garner Minshew is out there competing to be a starter, right? Garner Minshew thinks he's good enough to be the franchise guy, and not for anything. I'm not saying he's Peyton Manning, but if you sit there and watch Garner Minshew and think he's some sort of interchangeable mediocrity at the quarterback position, you are out of your mind, right? You know how hard it is to find a guy that can stay calm in a collapsing pocket, throw the ball on the move, make smart decisions, all of those things at quarterback, right? 
you know, forget his record, right? He was on the Jaguars. They were not good. They might still not be good. They were only 9-8 and eight last year. Just kidding. I'm, I'm kind of scared of Trevor Lawrence. But even freaking Trevor Lawrence was having a tough time in Jacksonville to start, right? And, of course, he's 0-2 in Philly last year. Now I'm back on Minshew. But he had the shootout in Dallas, right? He was doing his thing in that game. Now he has some traits of a pretty exciting player. And for anyone that wants to argue that, you're literally ignoring evidence that's been laid out right in front of your face. Or maybe you just haven't watched him, right? Who's watching the Jaguars? This I understand. And I only bring this up. I'm only gassing up Gardner Minshew here to kind of highlight the point that he's not exactly like at the point in his career where he's just content being a backup. I can tell you right now, but he understands the reality and is opting to handle it with grace. You got to appreciate that, right? That That's what I'm here to say about Gardner Minshew. You got to appreciate that. If you're the Colts, you need that from a guy in his position. And more importantly, if you're Anthony Richardson, who just seems like such a nice guy and a young guy as well, not that I'm like his really his elder, but I mean, people would call me young and I'm 26. Anthony Richardson is younger than me, despite the fact if I ever met him, I would look up to him like a, a superhero, right? But, you, you know, you, you don't want any animosity in the quarterback room, just healthy competition. And to be able to have a guy who's already been in Steichen's system for a year here with us in Indianapolis, to me, that really means two things. Number one, Anthony Richardson has an incredibly solid foundation if he's willing to do the work, right? Which it seems like clearly he is, right? I mean, he has a chance to really learn and grow in this offense. He doesn't just have one guy to ask a question to. He has two guys to ask a question to and a guy that's embracing it, despite the fact that he may want to be the starter, right? And the number two, if Anthony Richardson wins this job and starts week one, we are going to see something. Mark my words. That's the part that I feel some people are missing. People will just say, oh, well, it's Garner Minshew. He should beat him out. Excuse me. Between his NFL experience, Garner Minshew, in which we've seen him play some damn good football, okay? Again, not like world-beater quarterback, but Garner Minshew has played some real good football that caused a level of mania, right? And then on top of that, being with Steichen in Philly last year, Garner Minshew has a massive leg up on winning this job for week one, in theory, right? On all counts. Now, of course... We know, given the fact that they drafted him at number four overall, that Indy would like Anthony Richardson to win this job. But from the start with Anthony Richardson, the message has been one of development and patience. The Colts have been pretty intentional in making sure that the expectation is clear. This isn't supposed to be some kind of come in and immediately be the savior type thing for the Indianapolis Colts with Anthony Richardson, right? He is working with the backups as we speak, and that's not just for like the sake of it, just I'll follow the status quo. Steichen brought Minshew with him from Philly for a reason. The Colts are 100%, and again, I have no source, but I'm telling you what I believe I know. The Colts are 100% okay with going with Minshew for as long as they feel is necessary. That's the vibe that I've gotten based off of the information that's available to me. So if Anthony Richardson wins this job, he will have earned it. It will not be handed to him if he should not have it. So if we start seeing Anthony Richardson pull away with this job as we get closer to the season, watch out. That, for me, is going to be a tell that we are about to see something happen. Because let me tell you, if Anthony Richardson got to the point, right, where he can process what he is seeing, as fast as what I've seen Garner Minshew do and is able to operate with that poise that really does seem to just ooze out of Anthony Richardson right now. Of course, it's different to just be like that in press conferences and like on a practice field than it is to show up and be that way on Sunday. But if he does, oh my Lord, let's get one thing straight. As it currently stands, the discrepancy and upside between Anthony Richardson and the field of other rookie quarterbacks is glaring, right? The questions around Anthony Richardson have nothing to do with his talent. We all know everything is there from a physical standpoint, and now what we're starting to learn seemingly from a psychological standpoint. And what I'm saying 
is with his talent is he is able to see and feel the game as good, not even better, as good as Garner Minshew, he's already a problem. Let alone if he gets to a point where he's processing it on the level of some of the great quarterbacks in the NFL, right? Now, of course, we are going to have to wait. This isn't like we don't know, right? We don't know how this is going to go. But I will say this again, just to kind of wrap this up in a bow. If Anthony Richardson starts separating from Minshew before the preseason, that right there is the tell. And not to give financial advice because I'm an idiot and I'm not qualified to be giving financial advice, but if that were to be the case, I personally will be placing whatever bet I can afford to place on Anthony Richardson winning Rookie of the Year at that point. Now, if he kind of just wins it in the first month of the season, right, this becomes different, okay? So because if he is not ready for week one, even if he took over in week three or week four, if you're not ready for week one to be an NFL starter, it's not really likely that you're like much more ready in week three or week four, right? Or at least not on the level that he can be, right? Or that we think he can be early if a few things were to work themselves out. So for me personally, that scenario right there, I am monitoring kind of where Anthony Richardson is as the offseason goes on in terms of how much is he working with the ones? How likely is it that he starts week one? Because if he's working with the ones and it's likely he starts week one and that happens like early in the process, that means something's going on, and the Colts tried to keep a secret and couldn't. That's really how I'm taking that. And if Garner starts the season, we're going to know that Anthony is still dealing with some of those footwork issues, those accuracy issues, right? Eh, but, of course, we will see, right? So with that, I think that's all she wrote for today. Um, yeah. So if you made it this far, you must have liked it to some degree. This is where you shoot the like, subscribe, right? I do this at the end of every video. I wonder how many people watch the end of my videos. So regardless like subscribe until next time my name is justin you just listened to the ride in the bench colts cast go colts